who is Trump in all of this right now? I know you've spoken about Trump comparing him to Cyrus the Great. You've spoken yeah. about Trump comparing him to uh, uh, King, uh, uh, I want to pronounce it right, uh, Jehu. Uh, Jehu. Uh, uh, yeah, so you, you, who is Trump? Yes. Uh, what role is he playing in all of this? Okay, yeah. To America, now this is, and, just, and we, we were speaking just before the show, this is in, this is in uh, another book I did called The Paradigm. I mean, I mean, it's related to The Harbinger too, but it's The Paradigm. The Paradigm is showing that it's not only the signs that are replaying, but the people are replaying. That meaning that behind the leaders of Israel, or behind the leaders of our time, there are, they're following the prototype of ancient leaders. So it's not just the, it's not just the signs, it's the people are signs. And Trump is one of them. What happens is, and I, I we won't be able to go through all that, but but you can get the the, the paradigm anywhere, and, I, and we can talk at any time. But every leader from Clinton, you know, Bill Clinton to Hillary Clinton to Barack Obama to Trump, all that every single one follows it like clockwork, and not just the people, but the time that they're going to be on the national stage exactly. So what I'll just I'll, I'll put it this way from the paradigm. There's a moment when, when Israel is about, is really ready to, to seal its fall away from God. And what you have in power, you have, you have behind the scenes, is a woman named Jezebel. Jezebel is, is, is part of the house. Her, her, she was the wife of the king Ahab, but now he's not king anymore, but she's still behind the scenes of power. Well, and this is not about a person. We got to pray for all people, love all people, but this is going to match Hillary Clinton. And, and, and I'm not saying that because I have anything about Hillary Clinton. And there are people who say this because they do. But the fact is, she's going to follow this exactly. Um, and, and she is there. And what it comes down to is the nation's about to, is at a crossroad. And, and it's either going to follow the house of Hillary Clinton or the house of Jezebel or, or something's going to happen. So what happens is at that moment, when it looks like Jezebel and her house is going to reign forever, uh, God raises up a man called Jehu. Jehu is a warrior. He's a fighter. He's not a politician. Well, Donald Trump is not a is, is a fighter. Uh, Jehu is impulsive. He just you can't predict him. He, he does this, does that. So is Donald Trump. Uh, Jehu Jehu begins a race to the throne, and he gets on his chariot. Begins a race. Now 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 Donald Trump began a race to the presidency. A guy in the Bible is watching Jehu comes, watching the chariot. They say, who is it? He says, Well, I don't know. But it's, he drives like Jehu because he drives kind of like, like, like he's crazy. Well, <laughs> the race of Donald Trump to the White House was crazy. But the thing is that what happens is Jehu, then it comes down to a, comp, a confrontation between Jehu, the warrior, and, and, the, and Jezebel, the former first lady. And so you have in America the warrior Trump, Jehu, and you have the former first lady of America, Hillary Clinton. And when you and the one and everybody said, you know, Hillary Clinton's going to win, it's going to wipe out. But the Bible said that when they come together, Hillary, oh, Je, the Jezebel is going to fall and Jehu is going to rise to power. And that's exactly what happened. And I'll, there's so much. But let me tell you this about this. Jezebel was in was on the national stage for 22 years, 22 years with her husband, Ahab. And on her own, after her husband's reign was over, 14 years. Well, Jezebel, well, that was Jezebel. Hillary, Hillary Clinton was on the national stage from the moment that her husband became governor of Arkansas to the end of his presidency. How many years was it? 22 years. How many years was she on her own? She, she retired from public life for two years, came back altogether, 14 years, exactly as, as exactly, exactly. So you've got Donald Trump, then, then, but the importance of Donald Trump, it's not about Trump, doesn't matter what you think about him, because Jehu was, was wild, but God raised up uh, Jehu to, to, to give the nation a little bit more time to hold back, you know, what, and actually we can see it happen now, to hold back this, this wave that was going to seal the nation's fall and, end, and, and begin persecution and end the gospel. He hold back. So Donald Trump gave a reprieve. It's not about Donald Trump. I'm not, I'm not saying he, he's not reading this, okay? But but he he's doing that. So and this matches up with what we just said in the Harbinger too. This is part of the window of time. Well, Donald Trump was an extension of that. But now we're coming to a crucial moment. That's why all these things are coming to a head. All these things and the virus and the the economic collapse and the lockdown 
and the, the, the unrest is all part of the biblical mystery began in the Harbinger from the Bible and is, is resuming now. And that's why I knew I had to write the Harbinger too, because we're, we're in it right now. 